Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Hi, welcome back. This is going to be the final lecture for Chapter 6, and I want to talk about the problems at the end of the chapter. So the setup for the first problem is it's an autonomous vector field on the plane, CR, R greater than or equal to 1, so we have existence and uniqueness of solutions, and we're going to denote the flow by phi sub t in the usual way. So let x equal x bar denote a hyperbolic saddle type equilibrium point for the vector field. And we're going to denote its stable and unstable manifolds by the usual, local stable and unstable manifolds by the usual notation. And then we're going to globalize them by letting them flow under the flow in the appropriate direction of time. Backwards time for the stable manifold, forward time for the unstable manifold. Now, what I want you to show is that these global manifolds are invariant sets. That's just designed to make you think about what an invariant set is. Invariant sets are made up of trajectories. That's what we have here. You need a little more than that to make a good argument. Start in it, you stay in it. Start in it, pick an initial condition, you always remain in it for all forward and backward time. Now, B and C are similar, so I'll just start to talk about B. So, suppose you pick a point in the global stable manifold, show that that point approaches the, the origin at an exponential rate. So what that means is we argued that any point in the local stable manifold approaches the origin, or the equilibrium point, sorry, x bar in this case, doesn't have to be the origin, at an exponential rate. So what you need to do is start way out here in the stable manifold, let it flow until it gets into that neighborhood where it's in the where the local exponential um, con decay to the origin takes place. And the next one is very similar. So these are actually very practical things to think about. Uh, this is the type of thing you would see if you were simulating trajectories on a computer. All right, number two. The same setup, it's an R2, autonomous vector field, CR, R greater than or equal to one. Suppose we have a hyperbolic saddle point. We know that that has stable and unstable manifolds. Is it possible that those stable and unstable manifolds could intersect at an isolated point that's not a fixed point or equilibrium point of the vector field? So this is what I mean by that. Here's your hyperbolic fixed point, equilibrium point. It's stable and unstable manifold. Can they intersect at an isolated point? That is without having to coincide like this. And the answer is no. It's in R, we're in R2. Um, and the reason for that is invariance of the manifolds. This point of intersection must remain in the stable manifold for all forward and backward time evolution. Similarly, it must remain in the unstable manifold for all forward and backward time evolution. So what about those points? Just let it evolve in time, this point, and argue and use the fact that it's got to stay in both and see where you get with that. All right, now this, problem three, this example, this is a modification of my favorite example. I've modified it in a lot of ways. This is one, alpha and beta parameters, alpha less than zero, beta greater than zero, so that the origin is a hyperbolic equilibrium point. Gamma is a real number, and n is a positive integer. All right, and then I want you to show that the origin is a hyperbolic saddle point. 
line. Compute and sketch the stable and unstable uh, subspace of the origin. Show it that the st stable and unstable so subspaces are invariant under the linearized dynamics. You've so you got all the tools to do that. I don't think I've quite posed it in those words, but pretty close. Now I want you to find, compute the flow generated by that vector field. And I told you how to do that for my example earlier on. And then compute the stable and unstable manifolds, global stable and unstable manifolds of the origin from the flow. Remember how you you uh, arrange all the terms, multiplying the different exponentials in time. Show that they are invariant and sketch them. And show how they depend on gamma and n. n is interesting. You're going to get different shaped curves, always tangent at the origin. And so this is a, this is a really good exercise. Then when I've done in other examples, I've made gamma time dependent and other things, but that's for another course. Okay, let's go back to homoclinic and heteroclinic orbits. Um, these, this is true in, in Rn, both of these. We have an autonomous vector field with a hyperbolic equilibrium point in the homoclinic orbit. So, there is an orbit, that in, in, that under forward time evolution approaches that fixed point, equilibrium point, so it must be in the stable manifold. Also in backwards time, it approaches the equilibrium point. That's the definition of homoclinic I gave earlier. You need to go back and look at that. So it must be in the unstable manifold. Ah, homoclinic orbit must be simultaneously in the stable and the unstable manifold of the equilibrium. So an orbit that is homoclinic to a hyperbolic equilibrium point must be in both the stable and the unstable manifold of that equilibrium. Similarly for heteroclinic, and now there's the obvious modification. So that's how we're going to, so when we look at examples, we're going to look at the equilibria, we're going to find their stable and unstable manifolds, and we need to understand the nature of the homoclinic orbits and heteroclinic orbits in terms of those stable and unstable manifolds. And if you go back and look at the examples early on where I gave you, where I talked about or defined homoclinic and heteroclinic orbits, now you have the tools for describing them in terms of stable and unstable manifolds of the appropriate equilibrium. So those are the problems. Have fun with them, and next time, next lecture, we'll start Lyapunov's method and the LaSalle invariance principle. So until next time, bye.